Well, our correspondent, Faye Dulkeri, has been following the political fallout from the wildfires, and she's joining me now from Athens. So, Faye, so the other side of the story clearly is the political fallout. Can you tell us about uh, what's going on at the moment? So, gloves came off. The war of words between the government and the opposition conservatives continued yesterday, and they're going to continue today for sure, with the main opposition leader, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, calling out uh, Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras over the fact that no one has resigned over the last week. Mitsotakis held a press conference yesterday speaking about the wildfires and explaining the position of his party. He pledged that he will do everything he can to find answers to all the questions and make sure that responsibility is attributed. And he actually said that he doesn't understand how some people can sleep at nights. When someone undertakes political responsibility, it should be accompanied by an act uh, and resignation is what he meant, Kyriakos Mitsotakis. Though he didn't name exactly the prime minister, the comments appeared uh, to be aimed at Tsipras, who said that he assumes political responsibility, but he didn't resign. Later, in a statement by the prime minister's uh, office, Mitsotakis is accused for trying to take advantage of dozens of citizens' pain and loss. Human lives cannot become an object of political exploitation is exactly what the statement from the Prime Minister's office said. And Faye, so how do we see this uh, playing out? I mean, are there calls for any snap, snap election? Can you tell us about that? Yes, look, political tensions are very high during the last uh, months in Greece. The main opposition has been asking for elections many months now over the financial situation and uh, name dispute with Firom. And there are many scenarios for early elections even more now after the tragedy, as you can understand. I can tell you that the last time this happened in Greece, in 2007, with less, des with less uh, dead people, we had elections within a month. Of course, now the circumstances are different, the government is different, the political party in charge is different, and only the prime minister really knows when elections are going to be.